Nintendo and Illumination are currently hard at work bringing the world of the Mushroom Kingdom to the big screen in the upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie. One way in which they're doing this is by including many of the classic characters we know and love in the roster of the film. Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Bowser, Toad, Donkey Kong, and even Foreman Spike, everyone's favorite. The cast for these characters ranges from huge criticism for Chris Pratt's Mario to huge praise for Jack Black's Bowser. Now who's gonna stop me? While we wouldn't want to make the movie feel bloated with too many characters, we know that the Nintendo fan inside all of us is crossing their fingers for more characters from the Super Mario Bros. universe, either in this upcoming film or a future sequel. Today, we're going to run through which other Mario Universe characters we'd like to see, and which Hollywood actors we'd want to voice them. I'm Kifinosi with Wicked Binge, and this is the Super Mario Bros. movie characters we want to see, and who should play them. Our only real rule for this list is that we're going to be focusing on characters and actors that have not been previously announced for the film. For example, Charles Martinet has been announced among the voice cast for the movie, but it's not been revealed yet which character he'll be voicing. We're going to be avoiding speculation here, but if you want our take on that specifically, check out our video on the Super Mario Bros. movie predictions we love and hate. With that established, let's super jump into our list. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! It's no surprise that Princess Peach is set to appear in the movie, but what about the bubbly brunette princess who already appeared in the 1993 film? Yes, we're hoping Princess Daisy will appear among the film's cast. Considering Daisy is so energetic and excitable, we can easily see her appearance adding levity to the movie as a whole. So who would be the best person to portray Daisy? We're gonna give that honor to Christian Schaal. This comedian and Flight of the Concords actress has proven herself capable of bringing a lot of energy to animated characters already, as proven with her portrayals of Louise from Bob's Burgers and Mabel from Gravity Falls. I think I bring just a lot of relatability to her. Given Daisy's high energy and playful nature, we have no doubt in our minds that Kristen Shaw would be a perfect choice to give this character the energy she needs. Now, let's take a look at everyone's favorite overweight anti-hero, Wario. Bowser certainly has enough range to be funny and threatening, and we're sure Jack Black will nail those elements in his performance, but what about Mario's more consistently comedic rival? If he does appear in the film, we personally would give the honor of voicing him to Danny DeVito. Considering DeVito's It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia co-star Charlie Day is already set to appear in the movie as Luigi, we could already see the chemistry between Luigi and Wario working really well. Danny DeVito is not only very capable of being funny, but can play an iconic villain easily, demonstrated by his portrayal of the Penguin in Batman Returns. Not to mention a Wario Land spin-off movie starring Danny DeVito would be pretty epic. With so many people miffed by his exclusion in the most recent Smash game, we're hoping that Waluigi will at least get a chance to appear among the roster of this upcoming film. As fun of a character that Wario is, we feel his comedic nature would be even better if he had his purple capped partner with him to create banter. As for who should play this oft-forgotten villain, we personally would give that honor to Steve Buscemi. Much like Danny DeVito, Steve Buscemi's shown through many movies such as Reservoir Dogs and Far Fargo, that he has a knack for being both threatening and really funny. He's even shown himself to be able to pull this balance off in animation, previously looking at his iconic role as Randall from Monsters, Inc. Where is it, you little one-eyed cretin? We feel Steve Buscemi would give us exactly what we would want from a Waluigi portrayal. He's back again, and about time too. Actually, Diddy Kong hasn't officially been announced for the movie's cast as of yet, but given Cranky is set to make an appearance, we're hopeful he will be. This energetic and fun-loving monkey certainly would be a hit with younger viewers and adults alike, as long as the casting agents find a suitable voice actor for the role. For this task, we're enlisting in professional voice actress Nancy Cartwright. I have an announcement to make. I'm bored. Given Nancy Cartwright, revolutionized adult animation with her portrayal of Bart Simpson, we have no doubt that she could take the same energy and rambunctious nature used for Bart and apply it to a rambunctious and energetic monkey. We're also big advocates of professional voice actors and actresses getting roles in Hollywood movies, which you'll see once again in our next entry. So one character we're actually somewhat surprised hasn't been announced for the movie yet is Yoshi. While this multicolored dinosaur hasn't appeared in every single one of Mario's adventures, he is still one of the most iconic and recognizable characters in the series, so it would feel a little odd if he was absent from the movie. With that said, Yoshi would be a difficult character to voice, so we would give this role to voice actor John DiMaggio, probably best known for his portrayal as Bender on Futurama. We think John DiMaggio would be an odd but somewhat fitting choice for Mario's steed based on his role as Jake in Adventure Time. We're reasonably confident that DiMaggio would give us a really fun performance as Yoshi, and anyone who says otherwise can bite my shiny metal, well, you know. 
Yeah, we'll bite my shiny metal face! Though Yoshi isn't the only prominent dinosaur character in the Mushroom Kingdom, which is why we're also hoping Birdo finds a spot in the movie. Birdo is a character who's been portrayed as both an ally and enemy throughout the Mario series, so she really has a lot of range for what her role could be in the motion picture. For this character, we personally would cast Emma Stone to play her. Peach and Daisy are generally portrayed as very cutesy female characters, so we would prefer someone with a much raspier voice to bring diversity to the character. Emma Stone would fit this bill perfectly and give Birdo a much gruffier voice while maintaining her femininity. Given Birdo's been portrayed as a male much more often in Japan, we wouldn't be surprised if they switched to a male voice actor for the Japanese dub. Over here, however, Emma Stone would be a good choice. We all knew Bowser was going to be in the movie, but what about his extensive family tree? Maybe not all of them will appear, but if even one of them does, we're willing to bet it'll be Bowser Jr. Jack Black as an actor already has some serious dad vibes to him, so giving Bowser a son to look after in the film would really work given the actor they already have, if nothing else. It may seem like an odd choice, but we would love to see Jason Alexander voices character. You might be thinking, really, the guy who played George Costanza voicing a, a baby turtle dragon is a good choice? Well, as much as we did love Alexander's performance on Seinfeld, we're basing this casting choice more on his portrayal of Duckman in the cult animated show of the same name. Now let's all try to get along, okay? There, Jason Alexander showed his vocal range by screaming many of his lines in quick succession, which we feel would be hilarious when applied to Bowser's eagerly evil son. The final female member of royalty to grace our list is, of course, Princess Rosalina. While not quite as well known yet as Peach nor Daisy, Rosalina's become a fan favorite among many players ever since her debut in Super Mario Galaxy. For this role, we would want someone who could bring a level of maturity to her performance to contrast Peach's cuteness and Daisy's high energy. With that in mind, we would cast Scarlet Johansson in this role. While this Marvel star is best known for her on-screen presence, we can't forget about her incredible voice acting work, most notably as Samantha in the movie Her. Hi. How you doing? In fact, as Rosalina, this wouldn't even be the first time Johansson's played a mature princess who helps out the main characters on their quest, as she did so as Princess Mandy in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. You're Patrick Star. <laughs> Surprisingly, thanks to Spongebob, we believe this actress would be the perfect choice for Rosalina. Next up, we have Peach's right-hand mushroom man, Toadsworth. While Toadsworth may not be the most prominent cast member of Mario's adventures, he does have a very close relationship with Princess Peach, so we wouldn't be shocked if this elderly Toad made a short appearance or two somewhere within the film's runtime. Given Toadsworth's accent, we only see it fitting that this role goes to a great British actor. In this case, Patrick Stewart. If you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. This X-Men and Star Trek The Next Generation star has already appeared in more pop culture series than we can count, so why not add Super Mario to that list? Not only do we think Patrick Stewart's presence would be a great addition to the Mushroom Kingdom, but we'd also love to see him redeem his voice acting career at least a little bit after appearing in the Emoji Movie. Just doing my duty. <laughs> what? You might have some speculation as to whether or not this enemy or that enemy will appear in the film, but come on, if we don't see a Goomba at some point in Bowser's army, things just won't feel right. Possibly Mario's simplest yet most iconic foe. There will likely be more than a few Goombas scattered throughout Mario and Luigi's quest in this movie. You might say it's confusing to assign one voice actor to what could potentially be multiple characters, but Keegan-Michael Key is listed as Toad, despite the fact that there will be multiple Toads in the film based on the poster, so it's fair game. With that said, we're going to give the role of Goomba to Steve Carell. Goombas can only be so physically expressive given their small bodies and lack of arms, so we need an actor who can give a lot of personality to the character regardless. This office and 40-year-old virgin star has an enough charm to do exactly that, and given his good graces with illumination from the Despicable Me movies, we wouldn't be totally shocked if it actually happened. We just hope the people behind this production know better than to turn Goomba into a hulking, giant lizard monster like they did in the 1993 film. Why did they do that? Sticking to the theme of mushroom people, let's take a look at the female counterparts of Toad, that of course being Toadette. While not a member of the Mario series from the very beginning, Toadette has slowly but surely become one of the most prominent reoccurring characters since her first appearance in Paper Mario. Maybe the movie will will feature multiple Toadettes, or maybe it'll be a Smurfette situation, but there's only one. Either way, we think Kristen Wiig would do a great job at voicing this pink mushroom person. This comedian has definitely made a name for herself in live action roles, including her multiple movie performances and role on Saturday Night Live. However, her voice acting ability should not be overlooked, as she's responsible for breathing new life into Lola Bunny on the Looney Tunes show, regardless of what the overall quality of that show may be. We think Kristen Wiig could easily do the same for this iconic mushroom woman, and we would love to see it happen. We know Mar 
Mario's arch nemesis will appear in the film, but what about Luigi's biggest adversary? We certainly hope King Boo finds a role in the film, in one way or another. For someone who has an innate fear of the undead, Luigi certainly finds himself around ghosts a lot, and given the appearance of dry bones in the trailer, we're willing to bet Boo's aren't too far behind. If the leader of these shy ghosts does manage to make his way into the film, we'd give the great responsibility of voicing him to Brian Cranston. King Boo needs to be a threatening foe, and any Breaking Bad fan can tell you that Brian Cranston is the danger. He is the one who knocks. I am the one who knocks. Heck, even if King Boo ends up being more comedic than we would expect, we'd still say Brian Cranston would be a good choice based on his appearance in Malcolm in the Middle. Either way, he'd be a shoe in for this character who can't wear shoes. The final female character to appear on this list? We can't forget about Mario's original damsel in distress, Pauline. We all know Donkey Kong is set to appear in the film, and given the nature of Mario and Donkey Kong's relationship, we wouldn't be surprised if the two have a fight over Pauline. With that in mind, Pauline has gotten a lot more development in recent games where she's portrayed as much more cool and responsible, so we have to keep that in mind when assigning her a voice actress. Therefore, we're going to be heading back into the Breaking Bad universe to cast Ray Seahorn in this role. While never actually sharing a scene with Walter White, Ray Seahorn's character Kim Wexler was one of the biggest highlights of Breaking Bad's spin-off series Better Call Saul. With that role, Seahorn proved she can play a character who's smart, charming, layered, and competent, all of which could lend itself greatly to Pauline's role in this film. Another enemy we hope to see flying around on his cloud is Lakitu. Sure, Mario can get around riding on dinosaurs or traversing through warp pipes, but everyone knows there's nothing quite like stealing Lakitu's cloud and flying through the air on it. This might actually be a really cool way to see a bird's eye perspective of the Mushroom Kingdom within the film. Now, we might sound like we're joking here, but we would honestly give the role of Lakitu to John Leguizamo. Okay, we all know the original Super Mario Bros. movie is terrible as a film, but its ironic entertainment value has made it a cult classic nonetheless, so it would be cool to pay a little homage to it. While he was terribly miscast as Luigi, John Leguizamo isn't a bad actor in and of himself, and since Bob Hoskins and Dennis Hopper have sadly passed away, we wouldn't mind seeing Leguizamo make a trip to the Mushroom Kingdom one more time, this time on a cloud. Finally, one more enemy we would be happy to see charge into the roster is none other than Charge and Chuck. Sure, he's not the most common or recognizable enemy Mario has faced, but any fan of Super Mario World undoubtedly has many fond memories of Trounce and Charge and Chuck. That, or they have heavy Charge and Chuck trauma from playing the special world stage Tubular. Personally, we would love to see Charge and Chuck appear, and we would also love to see him played by Patrick Warburton. If you're an animation fan, we probably don't have to explain who Patrick Warburton is, given his appearances in Family Guy, Venture Brothers, Emperor's New Groove, and plenty of other places. He's even already appeared as Bowser in a dorkly short called The Roast of Mario, so he's ventured into the Mario universe before, albeit in parody form. While Warburton obviously won't be replacing Jack Black's voice as Bowser anytime soon, we do think this iconic actor's voice would be well suited for charging Chuck to give the film some great comedic relief. But let us know in the comments section if you agree with our choices, and tell us what we should cover next. Remember to hit that notification bell, and be sure to binge more of our videos, but most importantly, stay wicked!